Hey everyone, MLive's Brendan Quinn here alongside Michigan football beat writer Nick Baumgartner. Um, obviously the news of the day, Brady uh, Hoke has been dismissed as Michigan football coach. You guys already know that, so let's get into what um, Jim Hackett said in his press conference. I'm going to start off with the fact, uh, what was your takeaway? If Did you read anything into what he said regarding timeline, what he's looking for? He tried to be a little elusive, but did you get anything from him? Two things. One, they've put Mike DeBoer, former coordinator, offensive coordinator, a long time ago, uh, who's now a sport administrator, uh, so he's in the athletic department. He's been there for a couple years now. They put him in charge of the day-to-day -day of this football program, which is very important to understand mm -hmm. because that means that they do have somebody sort of uh, watching the farm yeah. while, uh, while they take their time here because otherwise, if you don't, typically if you don't have anybody sitting there watching these kids, you got to go fast, and that means like five days. So by having somebody sort of in place to kind of watch how things go, that does give them an extended period of time. He said he has a time in his mind where uh, they can't go any further from him. He wouldn't say what it was, but it sounds like if they find the right move quick, they'll do it quick. If not, they'll wait. And at the end of the day, they want to get the right coach, and, and the time really didn't seem to be the essence. The board thing is a very, an important deal with that. And he's not a candidate, so that's important. What, what did you think about the fact that he – Admitted that to uh, that he's going to be utilizing a, a headhunting firm. Yeah, for for this. And that's new, and uh, that's a, that's a new thing. Dave Brandon, when he hired Brady Hoke, uh -huh. it was him alone. No one else knew what was going on. It was it was Dave Brandon and, and Mary Sue Coleman. That was the only people that were involved in any of it. And these firms so, are typically very expensive. They're very expensive. <laughs> External search firms. They're yeah. not. And it's not a search firm of uh, I'm going to go down the street and talk to some old coaches yeah. that coached here or some old players that coached here and get their take on it. We're just going to hire who these guys want. No, it's going to be, we're going to go out and look and see what we can find. And that is also really important here because Jim Hackett is not an experienced athletic director. He right. doesn't have experience in this arena. He's hired and fired and done those types of things. But in terms of this, you hire these expensive external firms and they can go recruit and find the best coach that you're looking for with all those things. It's, that's a really big thing, something they've never done here before. Yeah. And, and it's something that absolutely had to happen given the situation they're in. And it definitely, I think, probably increases any likelihood or any chance of there being a non, a, a person hired who has yeah. no Michigan connections. You know, by, by having a firm that's saying, here's a candidate that you might have never heard of sure. or maybe not even really given a real consideration to. All right, the end of the press conference. Outside of <laughs> what was otherwise, you know, a, a pretty standard uh, coach dismissed, yeah. search is underway, uh, Jim Hackett decided to uh, kind of take a stance on some of the... Uh, preconceived notions of how things are run at the University of Michigan by saying that he wants to do away with the expression Michigan man which is tied into the grain of this place and that's something that has kind of baffled me since I've, I've been here for many different reasons but what do you think I mean it, for all intents and purposes Jim Hackett himself is the definition yep. of what is thought to be the Michigan man, and he wants to do away with it. Well, it's, it was a bit of a 360 dunk at the buzzer <laughs> because it was the last thing he said, and it was probably the most important thing he said, yeah. if we're being honest, because what he said was uh, that you know, that term has been thrown around so much and it's, gotten, it's been misconstrued by so many different people, and so many different people think that you, know, you had to be here to right. be respected around here. You had to play here or coach here or to get it. be somebody, yes, who yeah. gets the place. And he basically debunked that and said the true definition of that type of person is, number one, was a selfless person. Mm -hmm. A selfless person who puts this place above anything else. Doesn't mean that that person has to be from here, grow up here, spend 10 minutes here, the be an assistant here 25 yep. years ago, whatever. That's not important. The important part of it is, is that you come here with an understanding that this place doesn't cut corners, this place does things the right way, and this place is full of selfless people who put the greater whatever in front of themselves. And that ultimately is basically what the origins of this whole thing really was. Yeah. It's been so misconstrued. And then you, know, you go back to the, the Brady Hoke uh, press conference when he was hired. Dave Brandon basically starts it with, we don't have to teach him the words to the victors. And all the garbage that went on with Rich Rodriguez, it's, that, that to me at the very end there with Hackett is basically saying, that's done. If, we get, if, if they hire a guy that has Michigan ties, mm -hmm. maybe they do, because maybe that's the best candidate. But if they don't, that person is going to be welcomed in here yeah. if they meet those qualifications. Yeah. Whether fans want to like it or not, that's, and, and Hackett is basically laying the line down and saying, when we make our hire, that's our guy, and there's not going to be in, any infighting or whatever, and if there is, those people aren't important. Yep. One thing before we go that I took away from that, I think Jim Hackett's going to be here for a little bit. Yes. If you are a true interim who is just a, a placeholder for a short amount of time, I don't know if you come out and throw down 360 dunks at the buzzer. Right, and, like that's, that. and that seemed clear for a while now. That it, it, yeah. How long will remain to be seen, but it seems like, you know, more than a year, I, I would say. I mean, he's going to go, he's been tasked by the president to hire this football coach uh, and go through this whole thing and, and to come in at the very end and say, I got, I, you know, I want to change 
so, sort of a shift in philosophy that a lot of people have about this place, yeah. um, that means he's, his bags are probably unpacked. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So, uh, well, that's it for today. Um, it's going to be a crazy couple of weeks here, uh, so we'll be with you for all of it. Check uh, MLive.com for, for the latest on everything. On